This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Slideshow. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, and a frame rate of 24. You are free to use your own settings. The first step is to import your image into your project, and place it onto the timeline. Then open scale, and adjust its scale. I'm keeping this scale value. Then right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I'm calling it image 01, then click on move all attributes into the new composition and then hit OK. Now we are going to make this layer a 3D. So if this 3D tab, or any of these tabs are not available here, then right click here, go to the columns, and select switches, modes, as well as the parent and link because we are going to use them. Now click here to make this layer a 3D, and then we are moving to the next step. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing box, and then align your text anywhere you want. I am going to place my text in this position. Now make a duplicate of this text layer, double click on it, and replace the text with another one. I am calling it a slideshow tutorial. Let's keep the Montserrat font for it. You can download these fonts from the link in the description. Select the move tool, and align it like this. Not bad. I think the text looks big, so select both text layers, and open their scale. Now change the scale value to around 40%, and this is how it looks. Now I am going to select the tutorial text, and changing the weight to extra light. So that it will be visible clearly. Perfect. Let's make these text layers 3D as well. And then press M to minimize them. Now right click here, and create a new null. I am calling it rotation. Make sure to make it 3D as well, and then I'm going to select my image, and text layers and link them with this rotation. Now you can control all the motion through this rotation layer. If I select this layer, and open the scale, I can manage all the layers just by using this single null layer. Press R to open rotation, and we are going to use the Y rotation value. But if I change the values here, I am not seeing any parallax effect here. So let's make it parallax. Select the text layer, and open the position. Now change the slideshow text, Z position to negative 700. Let's place it here again. Then select the tutorial text layer, and change its Z position to negative 400. Align the position, and now we can play with the rotation. In the rotation layer, if I change the Y rotation value, I can see some parallax effect now. Minimize this layer, and select this image. Open the position, and change the Z position value to around 300. And also increase the scale value to fit the frame. Press M to minimize all layers. Now select the rotation layer, and press R to open rotation. Go to around 5 second position, and then add a keyframe on the Y rotation. Then go to the first frame position, and change the Y rotation value to around negative 12. Make sure you cannot see the edges of the image. 
And this is how it looks now. Perfect. Now make sure you are at the first frame, and then open scale. Click here to add a keyframe to it, then go to the 5 second position, and change the scale value to around 105%. Now we have two types of animation, and it will look much better. Let's go to the first frame position, and I think I'm going to keep the 99% scale value here. You can always increase the background image size to a different one, if you need more parallax animation. Let's add some particles here. Import this particle video into the project, and place it on top of all layers. I have downloaded this video clip from Storyblocks. Thank you Storyblock for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is an incredible library of high-quality stock videos, motion graphics, and other assets that can help elevate your video content. Whether you're a professional videographer, content creator, or just getting started, Storyblocks has something for everyone. With over a million stock videos, you'll never run out of creative inspiration. They have stock footage, such as particles, overlays, motion backgrounds, transitions, After Effects projects, Premiere Pro projects, and the list goes on. You get unlimited access to download from their entire library, with a subscription. And the best part is, it's all royalty free, meaning you can use any of the content in your videos without worrying about licensing fees or copyright issues. Storyblocks also have its Creative Cloud plugin, where you can access the entire library, in After Effects and Premiere Pro without leaving your editing window. I have been using Storyblocks for the last 5 years and used their assets in many of my projects. Click the link in the description, and download millions of video assets for your next projects. Let's get back to the tutorial. Change the blending mode to the screen, and make this layer 3D as well. Now I am going to parent this layer with the rotation, so that it will have the same rotational effect as all of the layers. See I told you. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Let's select the particle layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the levels. Place it on this layer, and change the level's input black value to a higher number, and we will have this kind of look. Now select the particle layer once again, and open its position. Change the position value to negative 1000. Then open the scale, and change the scale value so that it will look like the original. Let's make the transition now. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it the transition. Make sure to place it on top of all layers. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the linear wipe. You will find it right at the bottom. Place it on the adjustment layer, and let's adjust some settings. Go to the 5 second position, and add a keyframe on the transition completion. Make sure the value is 0%. Then go to the 5 seconds position, press U to reveal the keyframe, and then change the transition completion value to 100%. Select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open Graph Editor, in case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose Edit Speed Graph. Now change the curves to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how the animation looks now. I think I need to change the angle of this transition. So select it, and change the wipe angle value to a different one. I am going to use the 300 degrees. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Great. Let's place the first keyframe at the 3 seconds, so that we will have a longer time for the transition. It will look much smoother now. Select the rotation layer, and open its rotation. 
select both keyframes, and easy ease them as well. Open the graph editor, and change the curves to something like this. So that the animation will be faster at the end. It will look good with the transition. Perfect. Switch back to the main timeline, and then minimize all layers. Now I'm going to add some blur on the text layer, to create a fake depth. This step is optional, you can always skip it. I am keeping a blur value of around 1, just a tiny one. Now create one more composition, and call it the slideshow full. Hit OK, then grab this slideshow comp from the project window, and place it in this composition. We are going to make more slides here. Let's see how can we do it. In our project window, we have to make a duplicate of this slideshow layer. We cannot do it inside the timeline, because then the source will be the same, and you won't be able to change the images. So select the slideshow layer in the project window, and make a duplicate of it. Now place this slideshow 2 composition into the timeline, then open it. Select the image 1 layer here, now select image 1 in the project window, and also make a duplicate of this image 1. Make sure both comps are selected, then press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard, and drag this image 2 on the image 1 composition. Now it will replace the image source from the project window, and both slideshows are independent. If you change anything here, it won't affect any other composition. By following this step, you can easily make multiple compositions. I am just adding different wipe angle values, to make the dynamic look. Switch back to the slideshow full composition, and adjust the placement. I am going to place the slideshow on around 3 second duration. Check the animation, and now we have multiple layers. Of course, you can add more slideshows here. Now the final step. I'm going to play some light leak here. Place it on top of all layers, and change the blend mode to the screen. Open opacity, and change the opacity value to 40%. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Again, thank you Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Check the first link in the description.